Yeah, how's it guys? Um, I'm gonna rebuild this Audi 2 liter TDI. It is engine code DESA and it comes out of a 2017 B9 2 liter TDI. So that's the current shape A4. Um, let's see, I've got the new, new main bearings are in. Um, everything is cleaned, it's honed. So I'm gonna put the crank in now. Here's the crank. So just <clears throat> for interest sakes, because I spoke to the guys at Audi and not even them could help me, so I had to go and research this, exactly how a balance shaft works uh, to figure out. It's got two balance shafts. Uh, one there, one there. Both are driven by that big sprocket at the back of the crank. Um, Audi themselves can't tell you, there's no timing marks, and Audi themselves can't tell you how to time it. So after researching it, what I figured out, if the engine is hanging upside down like now, the weights are obviously both hanging down on both the shafts, so make sure your your, your block is level, 100% level. Make sure the block is 100% level. And then you gotta insert the crank at mid stroke, in other words, right in the middle between top dead center and top bottom center. So, if the pistons would have been connected, they'd all be in the middle of the shafts. So, as it's hanging now, let the weights hang where they want to hang, right down, and insert the crank mid, mid stroke. That'll then have that timing right. So, we're going to put the crank in, then we're going to torque the, the mains, we're going to torque them 65 Newton meters, or 47 foot pounds, plus 90 degrees. We're going to do that, and then we'll be back. Okay, so we've also got the pistons back in now. So the pistons, the big ends, you want to torque them 22 foot-pounds or 30 newton meters, plus 90 degrees. So pistons are back in. I'm going to put the pump back on now. Then I'm going to do the, the rear, rear main seal and the front main seal and put the sump back on. Um, just for interest sakes, if you see the pump, the back part here is the vacuum pump, so vacuum pump and oil pump is one unit. There's the vacuum pump, there's the oil pump, um, that's what it looks like. Belt driven, rubber belt that runs in the oil. Um. Okay, we've now got the head on. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to put the exhaust manifold and turbo on next. So, to put the head on, obviously no rocket science, um, obviously new head gasket, new head bolts, stretched bolts, so you have to put new head bolts in. Um, torque them 35 newton meters, then torque them 60 newton meters, then plus 90 degrees, and then plus 90 degrees again. And obviously the sequence you do is you start in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's how you do it. Here's the, here's the head. So yeah, so you're going to put the turbo exhaust manifold and turbo on and then assemble the motor on the stand. Next, after that, I'll have to do the timing <coughs> and uh, I'll make it, a, I'll get back when we do the timing and then just assemble, put it back in. Okay, so I've got the head on, everything on. Um, Ready to take it off the engine stand back onto the engine crane. Just walk around the engine. It's a turbo, catalytic converter, DPF. Back of the engine. See from the turbo, the inlet air goes all the way whoop, straight into the the cooler doesn't got an air to air uh, intercooler anymore that's got this which is a water to air intercooler and from there goes straight into the into the inlet manifold or the the intercooler which is a water to water to air intercooler is integrated into the inlet manifold so it reduces your uh, turbo lag shortening the, the route that the air's got to travel There's the motor. Ready to go back into the car. It's the Quattro, quattro trans transmission. Of 
course on the Audi it's very easy this whole front end is a modular front end so just hook it out there hook it out there then swing it across then I have to loosen the the aircon pipe so there's the aircon compressor lying on the ground so I'm not don't have to recharge the aircon and just swing the engine right in easy stuff hopefully all right so there's the motor back in see the front end is off so that's what it looks like back in the car now it's just to connect everything and then bleed the fuel system pull up the coolant and start it and there it is it's running perfect No engine lights, nothing wrong, everything perfect. Guys, thank you for watching and I just want to ask you if you want to and if you felt that you got any value out of this, if you would please like and subscribe, that would really help. Thank you for watching.